we're out here on World Environment Day taking action to protect our wonderful earth by planting trees to give back for all the stuff that we've kind of taken from the earth. I'd first like to acknowledge that we're on Wajak Island and um, today is, well it's actually Sunday is World Environment Day. So as you do this thing today, um, maybe just take a minute and just look around and, and think about the long-term benefit of what we're doing here today. Because if you'll go out with a, with a kind of a group leader and he or she will show you where, where to go and what to do. Dig the hole, go to about spade depth, so about that deep. And then just turn the soil over. This is a mixture of, the white stuff is soil wetting crystals, so when they get wet they swell up, okay? The black stuff is ground up pumice, and the white and blue bits are nutrient and microbiome. So just make sure it's nice and mixed up. You'll all be working with this with probably coming out of like a paper cup and a teaspoon. Okay? About one, te one heap teaspoon like that and it goes on the dirt on the side. And just gently mix that in. Uh, my name's Naren. Uh, planting trees to restore uh, the wetland around here. Tell us about your mighty plant, Lamenia. His name is Shrek. Um, he's the biggest one I've planted so far. Yeah? I'm really proud of him. He's like amazing. Oh. He stands at six foot two, 180 pounds. Um, they call him the tank. Oh. Goodbye, tank. I'm so proud of this plant. I'm so proud of this. We love getting outside and just doing stuff with our hands and we're sick of exam study, so it's just to break it up a bit. Yeah. Just get so out of much our heads. Exam study, I reckon. <laughs> Um, but it's pretty special because this place has been put out as a reserve under the Department of Parks and Wildlife. And it's actually a part of the Beliar Regional Wetlands, the really bigger regional pot. And it's, all it is is really just a network of wetlands throughout the Perth metropolitan area. And it acts as a means for water birds to be able to transfer over into different wetland areas. So with the last harvest in the 1970s, these I guess these plants kind of figured, you know what, this is the best time to come out, and it came out. And it's a lot of native plants, which is really good, uh, which is what we're really happy about. Uh, you don't see a lot of weeds. It's very pristine in there. And it's called Caledina Wetlands because it's home to uh, Caledina turtles, the oh. snake neck turtles. Today has honestly been so much fun. I can be honest and say that I was really kind of reluctant to get out of bed so early on a weekend for me, Friday. But it was so worth it. I met some awesome people out here, got to do an awesome thing for the earth. So I'm just feeling good, feeling happy, ready to have a good time with the rest of my day. Thanks everybody.